Here's an exercise demonstration video for the lunge. The lunge is a big step forward with one leg, and that's how it gets its name. A quick movement forward is a good synonym for the lunge, and that's the same idea that we should have when we do our lunges. A serious forward displacement of your center of gravity. Here's a couple of examples. As we lunge, taking that big step out in front, that moves my body from where I was to at least this far forward, and then I'm going to move my body back. So we have a lot of forward and back motion as we go through these lunges. We can do alternating lunges in place, or we can stay multiple lunges on one leg. What I like to do is to make sure that I keep the vertical torso and my knee touches the ground right below my hip, which is right below my shoulder. And we have that vertical posture that we always talk about. Remember, as you're doing this, it's a powerful push from the front leg, but we should make sure the heel is grounded to the ground before we push off. If we're going from the toes, we're locked into the quads. We want to include the hamstring as well. So remember that powerful push from the front leg brings us back to standing. And this is where we've been so many times before, abs and glutes, like we talk about. When you're doing your lunges, you can alternate or you can do them many times in a row on one leg. And of course, you're also welcome to just hold the position. This is a fantastic way for you to focus on that vertical torso and probably to feel a pretty intense sensation of tightness along the front of your leg as you hold this position. Now, when you're in this position, it's easy for your body to want to be overextended. This is a pretty common mistake that we see in the lunge. Instead, abs and glutes keep that alignment so you feel more of a sensation of tension along the front of the leg because you're controlling the pelvis and the torso. It's good to do the lunge hold as a way to build up your awareness of that position and your muscular capacity to keep the proper alignment before you add any load. So do the movement, do the hold, do the hold with load, and then do the movement with load. Let me show you those. You can do your lunges with one weight held in front, just like this. Same idea, alternating movement, powerful push through the front leg, making sure to keep that alignment at all times and that vertical posture. Also, keep the feet in one place and do multiple reps in a row if you're a little bit challenged on the balance. Finally, you can do your isometric hold. And remember, as you're in this position, the abs, the glutes, of course the legs are all working very strongly in order to hold this position. If you want to, you can also do the lunge with two weights. And this gives us a lot of variety. Lunges with one weight in either hand, like suitcases, is a great way to add extra load and maintain proper position while you do so. These weights to either side make it less challenging than if we hold the weights up and slightly in front of us. With weights in front, you'll notice that your leg muscles have to do more work to maintain the proper position. And keep in mind, that means that if you have extra body weight, like stomach fat, that can be a great reason for you to always work with the dumbbells along the side of your body. If you already have some non-contributing mass in front, we don't want to add the dumbbells there as well, because it can give us too much of a challenge against the posture. Bring those weights to the side, keep that straight line all the way through. Now finally, you have the opportunity for the offset lunge. When you do your offset lunge, you can take the weight and hold it in one hand to, uh, by the shoulder or down low, just as we talked about, but make sure you get some where the lead leg has the load and where the lead leg is opposite to the load. And notice how you feel your body become stiff in order to keep this weight from pulling you to the side or from twisting you both with that support leg and when the other side is your lead leg. Of course, you're welcome to go here as well, but remember, anytime you do offset work, if you put your arm out to the side, your body is using the weight of your arm as a counterbalance against the dumbbell. Don't do that because we want your muscles to be responsible for the counterbalance. Keep the arm close to the body, maybe use it for balance if you need to, but don't extend it way out there then your body is getting a little bit of an advantage. All right, hope this is helpful. See you next time.